Mr. President, in Ukraine started, and you said that you were acting because you had come to the conclusion that the United States, through NATO, might initiate a, quote, surprise attack on our country. And to American ears, that sounds paranoid. Tell us why you believe the United States might strike Russia out of the blue. How did you conclude that? It's not that America, the United States, was going to launch a surprise strike on Russia. I didn't say that. Are we having a talk show or a serious conversation? <laughs> Maps of the Soviet Union was effectively initiated by the Russian leadership. I do not understand what the Russian leadership was guided by at the time, but I suspect there were several reasons to think everything would be fine. First, I think that then Russian leadership believed that the fundamentals of the relationship between Russia and Ukraine were, in fact, a common language. Так вот, поляки всячески ополячивали и, в принципе, относились к этой части русских земель достаточно жестко, если не сказать жестоко. И все это, правда, привело к тому, что эта часть русских земель начала бороться за свои права и писали письма в Варшаву, требуя соблюдения своих прав тем, чтобы сюда присылали, в том числе в Киев, людей. But as to the freedom of choice, why not? He came to power on the expectations of Ukrainian people that he would lead Ukraine to peace. He talked about this. It was thanks to this that he won the elections overwhelmingly. But then, when he came to power, in my opinion, he realized two things. Firstly, it is better not to clash with neo-Nazis and nationalists, because they are aggressive and very active. You can expect anything from them. And secondly, the US-led West supports them and will always support those who antagonize with Russia. It decree and enter into negotiations. We have never refused. And the fact that they obeyed the demand or persuasion of Mr. Johnson, the former Prime Minister of Great Britain, seems ridiculous and very sad to me. Because, as Mr. Arakamiya put it, we could have stopped those hostilities with war a year and a half ago already. But the British persuaded us and we refused this. Where is Mr. Johnson now? And the war continues. That's a good question. Where do you think he is and why did he do that?
Мам, пап, со мной все хорошо, меня обменяли. Скоро буду дома. Люблю вас сильно. The way it is, and uh, it's a shame. The world is in tremendous danger. We're in danger of possibly a World War III. And we have a man who's absolutely the worst president in the history of our country. He can't put two sentences together. He's not going to be able to negotiate with Putin or Xi or Kim Jong-un, North Korea. Not going to be able to negotiate with anybody. All he knows how to do is...